there, Wendy here from Draw So Cute. In this video, we're going to draw Mitzi the skunk from LPS. So let's get started. With Mitzi, we're going to first start by drawing her face. So right here, I'm going to be drawing a curve. And so this is for the side of her face. It's a big, long curve. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. And so because I'm using a Sharpie and I can't erase, and she has this nice, gorgeous hair over here, I'm going to come down a little bit. So if you're using a pencil, just go right across and start to draw this curve just like this side. But I'm going to come, say, about right here, and I'm going to draw the same curve on this side. So when you're using a pencil, just come right here and your pencil mark should be about up here. But I'm just going to keep going right here. I'm going to turn the corner right here, curve it. So same thing on this side. And then finally connect it. And it dips in a little bit. So we're just going to come in here and towards the center, it's going to dip in. So come up a little bit and then come back down. So that's the shape we're trying to aim for here. And then from there, let's draw her gorgeous hair. <laughs> so from this point, I'm going to come up with a huge curve. And I'm going to go up, nice big curve, bring it all the way up and I'm going to come back down now. And let's see, about right there. We're going to come down and then bring it in with a curve. One nice curve, sweep it in and then curve it back out and then connect it back to that. So we're going to come back in here and connect it. So that's the shape we're trying to aim for here. This is nice, gorgeous hair. And so then we can just come back in here and um, finish our curve. And so from there, let's uh, bring her to life. And so right here, um, towards the center right here, I'm going to draw her nose. So her nose is not straight on. It, there's some um, it's a perspective. So I'm going to come right here towards the bottom under her hair. Just give yourself a point towards the center and we're going to come out with a curve. So this is for her little nose, which is a curve. Then we're going to bring it down. And then from there, we're going to come out down with another curve. And then right here, this mark right here, we're just going to cap it off. And then right here, we're going to draw a little curve. And that's for her nose. So you can just go ahead and shade that in if you're using a black for her nose. And so then from there, that you, now you've drawn the nose, you can anchor her eyes. So you've anchored this nose and you can uh, figure out where to draw her eyes a little bit better. So from here, where her nose is, we're going to draw this slanted up eye. So, so from here, just give yourself a point. And we're going to kind of aim at an angle up so you can come all the way to the edge but right there. Just give yourself these two points and then just draw a curve up. And then from there, we're going to come down with a curve and just um, leave it. Don't connect it. So just kind of in a little bit right there. So don't connect the um, lines right there. And so let's do the same thing on the other side just to um, before we go into all the details. So we want to come right across to the other side. Give yourself a point. Same thing over here. Just give yourself these marks so you kind of know where the other eye should go. So come over, give yourself. So this eye is going to be slightly bigger just because it's slightly at, a, um, at an angle. So but come over about the same spot. Just give yourself a point and we're going to draw another eye that's going up. So go all the way up and then come back down once again. So back to this spot right here. just sweep it in. 
So once again, you're not connecting it. And then from there, now we've got the eyes in. So now let's go in and draw all the details. So we're gonna, she has kind of like this black eyeliner <laughs> kind of deal going on. So we're gonna thicken this line up. So we're gonna come over here and thicken our line up. So we're coming towards the edge. Don't even worry about it. Just go towards the edge. And then right here. So you're just tapering everything in and then shade this part in nice and dark and then from there she has these lashes they're amazing so they're gonna come out from this dark patch right here so that's one two and another one so we'll just go ahead and shade that all in and then there's these bottom lashes too so just one, two, and three. And so then finally, let's go in here and draw the uh, pupil. So I'm gonna come over towards here and draw a curve and towards the bottom right here as well. So let's see, let's bring this a little bit in. And towards in here, right here, we're gonna draw the pupil. So it's these two curves and we're going to make them draw so cute eyes, of course. <laughs> and so right here, I'm going to draw two small circles at an angle. And I'm going to draw this curve line right here that kind of follows the bottom right here. And then I'm just going to draw these angle lines and shade this all in. Oh, actually, noops. My bad. <laughs> I'm wasn't oh well you know what I am oh my gosh <laughs> I scared myself for a minute there yes I am supposed to shape this part in <laughs> oh that was scary I was like oh no what, is I, what am I gonna do I can't redraw this <laughs> okay so I'm gonna shade this all in so then the color goes down here Phew. okay I saved it <laughs> okay so we got one eye in finally now let's draw the other one so same thing here we're gonna thicken up this line so come about right here tapering in and then same thing over here tapering it in and shade this part in to thicken it nice and black so you got the eye in and then the lashes once again so come out one another long one and one more and so then shade this part in as well so i hope you're loving all the lps drawings i've done i've done penny ling done blythe and so now this is mitzi and right here we draw the bottom lashes so i actually meant to draw pepper who is the other gray skunk and then i didn't realize i found the wrong skunk and i ended up drawing mitzi but um i hope you like her just as much as if i were to be drawing pepper so then from there we're going to draw the pupil. So we're going to come in here once again with a curve for the inside. Then towards the bottom here. And make this a little bit longer. And we're going to draw another curve. And so then we're going to draw, draw so cute eyes again. So two small circles at an angle. And we're going to curve this line at the bottom. And shade in the top. There, I didn't scare myself this time. <laughs> there, it's coming there, just thicken this up a little bit more. And then from there, at the bottom, just draw these lines at the bottom so there we got the eye in and then um, before I forget she has this beauty mark right here at the eye so I'm just gonna draw a little circle 
just make it black. I think it's a beauty mark. <laughs> and so then from there, finally, let's draw this. I'm going to draw this line right here. But if you weren't using a Sharpie, you would just color it in. But I just wanted to show you. So this is the darker part right here that's kind of purple. So we just draw a curve like that. So it's like her eye shadow. So same thing over here. Start at this point. Go up and come down. Ooh la la. <laughs> and so then come up here where we draw her eyebrows. So it's just a nice little curve and down. So same thing on this side. So I got her eyebrows in, and then um, <laughs> kind of makes her look very sleepy, right? A little bit, because <laughs> I haven't colored it in yet. And then from there, okay, now finally, let's draw her body. This is taking forever. Um, so right here, I'm gonna come towards the center. I'm just gonna draw a little tiny neck towards the center. And I'm gonna come in the center of this and draw a circle. So this is for the beads. It's a necklace that she's wearing, and I'm going to draw the two circles on the side. So, and then I'm just going to draw another one on the edge. So part of a circle, just to make it look like it's going around her neck. And then from there, we're going to draw her body. So this part is a little bit tricky, because it's not straight on. So we're going to continue this curve down. Take it step by step, and right here, we're going to draw some fur. So we're just going to come out one, two zigzags. And notice I'm kind of following the same curve. So I'm going to come about right here, curve it out. Once again, continue this, keep going. So continue, just keep coming down. And then we're going to bring this around. And so then about right here, I'm going to draw her legs. So come here with a curve. And I'm going to pop out a foot. So come here with a little curve, longer curve, and connect it. And so then this line right here, just keep coming down right here. Just continue it down. And then right here in the back, we're going to add the back leg other side and same thing and so then from there we're going to draw the um the front legs there so we're going to come about right here we're going to draw angle and another one right here so all ending about right here where the legs are and draw a curve for the paw area so we're gonna, I'm going to come in there later and erase that part. And then this hand right here is at an angle. So I'm going to come about right there. And another curve. And curve and connect it. So hopefully I didn't go too fast on that. And um, if I did, please just pause the video. So right here, we're going to draw her under part, the belly part. So we're going to come, it's kind of like a heart shape. So towards the center right here, I'm going to draw a curve. And this part's going to curve up. And we're going to draw a curve down. So come down here and just continue it down. So then from there, let's draw her gorgeous, gorgeous tail. So she's a skunk. <laughs> so we're going to come up here. Just this goes um, behind her head right there. And let's come about right here. Oh, I almost forgot her ear. <laughs> so let's come up here and pop on an ear before I forget. So at this point right here, we're going to draw a big curve that comes out. Sorry about that. And just bring it in. So thank goodness her ear is pretty simple. So come in here with another curve and connect it. So, okay, let's draw this tail now. So, well, let's come down here then. And we're gonna draw a curve that goes up. So this is the tail. And let's just continue this up. 
and then imagine it being overlapped by the head. It's going to go around about right here. Draw a huge curve. And give it a zigzag just to make it look like it's fur. Come back in. And we're going to draw a little curve right here. Just to add some pizzazz. Curve it. And then connect it. Back. All the way back. Whew. <laughs> so there, our color tail. <laughs> and it's two colors. It's white and pink. So um, if you're using, if you're going to go ahead and color it, you don't have to use a Sharpie to draw this line. You could just draw, um, color this part in. But just to show you, you're going to come over here and draw I mean, and color this part right here pink. So it's the shape that you want. Zigzag. Another one. Just following this curve and then come back down. And so this line is going to be overlapped. And in. So this part's pink and this part's white. And so then from here on her hair part right here, it's the same thing. You don't have to use a uh, black, but it's just pink, white, and then pink. So I'm just going to show you right here. You're going to come out with a big curve, following that outside one, kind of. Curve. And bring it in right there. And then the next, last one right here. Same thing, curve following the outside and just taper it in. So there. <laughs> I hope I made this uh, easy for you to follow. Mitzi the Skunk from Lulu's Pet Shop. Hope you like how it turned out and if you do, please give me a thumbs up and share it. And remember to subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.